Okay, I'm going to look at a unit of measurement called the electron volt. And this is a very small unit of energy. And uh, first of all, let's look at how it's related to the unit of energy of the joule. One electron volt is equal to 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19th joules. Um, so this is a very small unit of energy and it's often used to uh, calculate uh, or when you're working with individual atoms or molecules you'll often use units of electron volts. If you're using individual particles like electrons it also comes in handy. So one idea uh, behind the electron volt, one electron volt is the amount of kinetic energy um, that an electron would have if it was accelerated by one volt of electrical potential. the kinetic energy of an electron that's been accelerated through one volt of electrical potential. Okay, so um, let's take a look at an example that uses the electron volt to do a calculation. Start with a new section here. Um, so one way to think about it, if you want to have a formula, you could say that the kinetic the kinetic energy of an electron after this acceleration uh, is equal to the charge of the electron times the accelerating voltage. And we're just going to take the charge of the electron to be uh, one, uh, one times the charge of the electron. And uh, we're going to take the voltage, let's say we have a voltage of 10 volts for this example. And so um, the acceleration of the electron is or the energy, kinetic energy of the electron then becomes 10 electron volts. Uh, so it's really pretty straightforward. You just take, um, since you have one electron, you're accelerating by whatever voltage, this potential becomes a kinetic energy in electron volts. So whatever number you have here, that's what your ener kinetic energy is going to be of your electron. If I add um, for instance, if I had accelerated an electron, um, one electron through an accelerating potential of 25 kilovolts, then my Hello. electron would have an energy of 25 kilo electron volts. Uh, that's all there really is to it. So let's take um, let's take a look at this and explore that a little further. So let's say I have an electron accelerated by 10 volts of potential and I said that that was kinetic energy, right? So this is kinetic energy, so we're going to uh, determine the uh, velocity of a 10 electron volt electron. Okay, so um, okay. turns out that uh, okay. this unit is good for working with atoms but isn't very good at figuring out a velocity. So what we need to do to determine a velocity is to um, calculate, oh, convert the 
energy to joules. So if I have 10 electron volts, I can use my conversion factor of uh, one electron volt is equal to 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19th joules. Okay. And uh, do that calculation to determine the number of joules of energy I have. I'm going to bring over my calculator here. And I have uh, 10 electron volts times 1.602 to the uh, times 10 to the 19 minus. That's equal to one point six zero two times ten to the eighteenth. Jewels. Okay, and so that's um so that should be minus. So that's how many, how much kinetic energy it has, and uh, but we're going to figure out the velocity of this particle now. So I'll scroll up, give myself a little more room, and we have, if I remember my formula for kinetic energy, I have Ke equals one half m v squared, uh, and what I'm looking for in this case is the um, is the velocity. So I can rearrange this to solve for velocity. To do that, uh, the first thing I like to do is to multiply both sides by 2. And so that cancels the 2 over here. And I'm going to divide both sides by m. That cancels the m. And then I'm going to take the square root of both sides of the equation, which cancels the squared. So now I'm going to rewrite that one as v equals the square root of 2ke over m. Okay, um, now it turns out the kinetic energy we said was, uh, was what this factor was. Okay, so this is the kinetic energy, but this m value down here, turns out that is the mass of the electron. Okay. Now, the mass of the electron is a known constant in physics, and it turns out to be 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. Okay. So uh, that's the mass of the, um, every electron has the same mass, so we can use that as mass of an electron. Now, if we had accelerated uh, an ion, for example, instead of an electron, we'd use the mass of the ion down here in kilograms. Okay, so, uh, all right, so let's plug in our numbers now and we'll be able to calculate the velocity of the electron. And so that's V equals um, the square root of 2 times 1. 0.602 times 10 to the minus 18th uh, joules. Now remember, joule, a joule is a kilogram meter squared per second squared. Okay, and then this is divided by the mass of the electron, which is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. All right. And if I just take a look at the uh, how the units are going to work out here, the kilograms cancel and I'll meter squared divided by second squared and so after I take the square root of that, I'll end up with the units of meters per second, which is good. So I'm going to bring over my calculator, 
and do this calculation. So I have um, the square root of, and I'm going to put this in parentheses, um, 2 times 1.602 times 10 to the negative 18th, 18 minus, divided by 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31, or 31 minus, and then close parentheses and enter. Okay, so that gives me a value of 1.875 um, times 10 to the 6th meters per second. Okay, which is a pretty big number, and um, just to emphasize how large that is, let's take a look at the, how big this is relative to the speed of light. So if I remember um, that light speed is uh, 2.998 times 10 to the 8th uh, meters per second, um, I can figure that out. Divide by 2.998 e to the eighth. And so that's equal to 0 0.0062 um, 6. And if I want to compute the percentage, I could multiply by 100%. Uh, so times 100. And that's still pretty small. It's um, 0.626% of light speed. Now it turns out that in an electron microscope you can quickly get up to a large fraction of light speed um, if you're accelerating by potentials of um, 30 to uh, 100 uh, kilovolts of potential.